What's going on? It's your boy, Osman. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about meditation. And this is the beginning of a series of videos where I'm going to be debunking some false ideas around meditation. So this is a series on what meditation is not. And we'll talk about what meditation is. We'll speak about some of the challenges in meditation. And we'll speak about some of the solutions, some tips that you can use in your personal practice to make sure that you get the absolute most out of your practice. Okay? So, stay in tune with this series. Stay in tune with it. Every week or so, I'll upload another video as the next part. Let's get started. Meditation. Right, this word, wow. You know, it's getting to the point, right, where <laughs> I'm starting to realize that people just have their own definitions for things. Now, you can look in the dictionary, and maybe we can all have a common understanding of what a word means, but sometimes the dictionary isn't always true and fully correct. So, what is meditation? Well, in my experience, after almost 10 years of regular practice, yes, that's true. I'm 27 years old, but I've been practicing for almost 10 years consistently. Wow, what a teacher it has been. What a teacher it has been. One of the most important things that meditation has taught me to do is to surrender. Surrender, how does that word make you feel? Does that make you feel weak? Does that say weakness to you? Does that say giving up? Does that say defeat to you? Because here's the thing, surrender. There are levels to this word. And if we apply it to this force, this divine flow of life that kind of just makes things work out when we choose to get out the way, this is what it means to surrender. It means to get out the way. It means to stop resisting. And why is that? Because another thing meditation has taught me so well is that resistance to what is happening, resistance to what is happening right now in your life, in our lives, resistance causes suffering. Resistance causes pain. Now you might think resistance causes pain and suffering. Then does that mean I should let people just trample all over me? I surrender. Shoot me. Do you know what I mean? No. It doesn't mean that. It means to be free from internal resistance. Internal resistance. This surrender as well is an internal surrender. It's about looking within. And that is the magic of meditation because it's a practice of looking within. You can practice with your eyes open or looking down on the floor like this, or you can close your eyes. I like to close my eyes in meditation because then a conversation begins with me. Then an interaction begins with me. And that is something I recommend that you and everyone you know, and I know and will know and have known should do every day. Have a conversation with yourself like you have a conversation with so many people. Sit and observe yourself, sit and pay attention to yourself like you pay attention to so many other people. This is called meditation and it is the real medication. It's powerful, it's healing. You see, our demons, our demons are created from misunderstandings. They're created from dark parts of ourselves that we haven't seen, that we haven't looked at, that we refuse to see. Maybe traumas that we developed, inherited or received from childhood or now, whenever, that we refuse to experience again. And this is what the ego does. This is what the mind, constructed mind, does. 
It does whatever it can not to experience a pain that it once experienced before again. And so it will choose any way it will find any way to distract itself from looking within and really feeling what's going on. So when you meditate, this is one of the most courageous acts. <laughs> this is for me personally, the way of the warrior and people might hear that and think this guy sounds gay. Yeah. Cause that word is something that I've been called so, so much. For being sensitive, for being in tune with nature, feeling, this is gay, apparently. Well, no, I disagree. This is strength. This is courage. This is the way of the warrior, to be able to sit with yourself. Can you sit in a dark room alone? Can you do that? Can you be in a, long, a room alone without feeling this sense of panic. And if you do feel a sense of panic, how do you manage that? Can you feel that panic? Can you hold it? Can you nourish it? Can you, can you nurture it? Can you be there and hold yourself through difficulty? This is what meditation has taught me to do. It's taught me to hold myself and then to hold others, to hold space, First, beginning with me, every single morning, for at least one minute, that's right, I set the bar low, and that's how I'm gonna stay consistent until the end. And that's how I recommend you do. If you have trouble staying consistent in your practice, one minute a day, minimum, you can go anywhere beyond, anywhere beyond, but one minute is the minimum. And if you do this, surely you will experience something profound because when you start to experience that you <laughs> are not your thoughts, your mind, your personality, your desires, your sensations, feelings, but you are something that's witnessing all of this taking place. Once you experience this, there's no going back. There's no going back. At least there wasn't for me when I first meditated that on that day, close to 10 years ago, I was laying down my whole body. It felt like it was shining. It felt like it was on fire, but it, was, it wasn't a fire that hurt. It was a fire that felt like me. And so I never stopped. I continued and meditation was actually my teacher. I learned in meditation. So you stop dependent on the books, stop dependent on learning from the outside, the books, the podcasts, the teachers, they had their place. I have a role in your journey, some role, whatever it is, I'll flick one domino and we'll see what happens. I'll light a spark and we'll see what happens. But the real learning, the real lessons come from within. So meditation is the teacher and it has taught me to sit with pain. It's taught me to redefine what pain and discomfort really are to the point where the line between pleasure and pain just becomes so thin sometimes. <laughs> the suffering becomes funny sometimes. <laughs> the suffering becomes funny. Humour is invited in. We stop being so serious about everything. We learn to relax the face. <sighs> we learn how much we're judging others and how this is a reflection of ourselves. And I'll speak about that perhaps in the next video. The world of mirrors. Everything is a mirror. Everything is a mirror. People are mirrors for you 
to see where you're strong in judgment, where you're pointing the finger. But here's the thing, when you're pointing the finger, there's a mirror shining that finger, reflecting it right back at you. And that's what makes the difference, is someone that's willing to look at themselves, someone that's willing to meditate, someone that's not scared to do that, or someone that sits and does it, even if they are scared, like me, so many times. So many times. <laughs> I meditate because I'm scared. <laughs> I meditate because I'm scared. <sighs> and the throat chakra is something that we should unlock too. And this comes with expression, this comes with sharing, this comes with crying and shouting, letting it out. We must do that. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments. Save this video, that supports me, that supports the message that's being sent to the world right now in this video, which could help so many people. Share the video and also suggest if there's anything that you would like to know about meditation, any challenges that you have, trust me, we can have a conversation. And if I haven't got something that can aid you in the journey, then we'll figure it out together. Trust. Here's the thing. I've created something really beautiful. It's called a weekly wellness kit. You go to the link in my bio, you get a free yoga routine, free meditation, guided meditation every week. All you need to do is subscribe, put your first name and your email. The link is in my bio. That will help you get started and staying consistent on your path, okay? Step number one is getting on the mat and getting started. Well, in fact, no, step number one is clicking the link in my bio and then clicking the top link and subscribing so that you get these emails sent to your inbox that will help as a guide. They've been helping many people. In fact, some people read these emails as a morning ritual and it benefits their day. And then you've got a yoga routine and a meditation as well to follow and enjoy. Eventually you'll create your own practice, but right now it's important to use a guide if you haven't got the momentum. So use that guide. There's also something else. I've created an online platform. It's called the Self Mastery Online Dojo. This contains my complete meditation course, Meditation 101. It also includes a mash up of yoga classes so that's all kinds of yoga classes for different intentions gentle hard soft flow still do you know what I'm saying all the different colors of the rainbow so there's a link to that as well or you'll find all the links in my bio so go and check it out I hope this video helped you make sure to comment to suggest something that you would like help with, something you would like me to discuss, anything emotional, mental, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready to take questions, okay? So let's do it. Share this video with someone, it might help. Peace. Meditate today. Go and do your guide, your free guide. Go and subscribe and do it. Peace and have an amazing day. <laughs> Whatever it brings. If it feels great, it feels great. Just feel it. Just be in it. Just experience it. Just be willing to sit with what is happening right now in your experience. Pleasant or unpleasant. Okay? Stop running away. <laughs> Stop running away. Peace. Peace.